Yeah. It's a big hammer. So I'm gonna pack this up, show you how we do it here, and uh, get it on its merry way to a uh, lucky customer. Um, who also has a few other things too, so uh, we'll, we'll film uh, what, we, what we put in the box today. All right, let's do this. So first of all, the box, this is the box you actually came in. So there is a, an absorbent pad here. Um, what I will do though is we'll pack it full of um, some cushioning just to stop the, uh, the hammer jumping up and down. Um, although the box is made out of foam, um, the bouncing does tend to split the bag sometimes. So we'll get some extra padding on the bottom of the box and then um, we'll put a couple of the uh, plastic liners in. And then after that, we will uh, we'll get the coral packed into it. Well, I'd say a fair few bags. Okay, so we're gonna use a plastic wrap, get the coral in the plastic wrap, and then feed it into the large bags. Company, of course, they're not going to appreciate um, water everywhere, and um, you don't want to cause any issues with leaking bags and that sort of thing. and uh, hopefully the edges don't make too much contact with the sides but it's actually got plenty of room inside there so it should be quite fine. So uh, we'll just get some water in there now. On the same system. We'll put some carbon in there which will absorb any of the nutrients or coral excrement during the, uh, the shipping process. Definitely great to use with things like acropora, soft corals, things like that. Uh, and the granule ones, I think, work really well. And you can get high-grade carbon or nutrient absorbers like Purigen. Continuum has a really good product. Uh, I just find this one, being larger particles, is easier to remove when it gets to the other side. Guys, oh, there's another thing I've noticed is a trend sending corals with tiny little containers. Um, I guess that's great right for um, what I'm trying to say. That's great for uh, saving space and getting very low weight. But the oxygen and marine water in a small container, it, it, it's gone very quickly. So just as fish, I think it's as important to have oxygen. In your, uh, in your shipping method, whether it's a container style thing or not. Um, you'll never see me shipping in little boxes. It looks cool and it's and it's neat, definitely looks cool, but I'm telling you, it's not a smart way to ship corals. Get them in a bag, get oxygen in there, and if something goes wrong, your coral goes missing for days during transport, got a much better chance of it surviving. 
plenty of plenty of those that need to do some like chicken coals around. They love to use those little containers. And it's just simply by my 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 thoughts just not the best way to do it. My rubber bands also do not come off. They do not get removed very easy. They are all cut removals. Um, I might get a staple machine one day. That would be pretty cool. And there. Well, that's also impossible to get off. You have to cut the bags. But uh, yeah, you won't be saving these bags, that's for sure. Coral's in there beautifully. There's plenty of water in there. I'm actually a lot happier than I thought this would, this would turn out right now. How many bags did we go? We went four bags and we went a layer of plastic. So it was, it was four and I'd say I caught four layers of bags and then a layer of extra padding inside there. And then outside of the bag, we've got two layers of plastic outers. Usually they uh, ship on the plane with one and we've got some padding on the bottom of the base. So I'm really hoping all of this works well and is enough to secure it. For this last one here, I'm going to do, uh, do a zip tie. And um, just a couple more corals. We'll uh, show you these corals. These are absolute gems. go. WA Hulk Green Torch. That one used to be my Ultra Torch. <laughs> then this one showed up. Uh, that makes it look a bit funny. Um, there should be more of these available. Sorry for my shaky hands. Uh, any local customers, there should be some more of these available soon too. Uh, if you're international or whatever, hey, let's do international style filming here. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, fluoro. 